Hi there, uh, just going to do a unbox video today. Uh, going to look at the Zettel terminal and the Zettel terminal printer and dock. Um, really good bit of kit, just been out on the market about three months now, maybe two or three months, uh, selling well and uh, perfect for businesses who maybe want an integrated EPOS device on a smart terminal uh, that may be out and about because it does uh, dual comms, Wi-Fi and mobile and seamlessly switches between the two. So what we're going to do, we're just going to have a look at the boxes. We're going to take stuff out. We're going to do a setup um, and uh, see how things uh, work together. Um, so first thing is um, the box is really nicely designed. Uh, it's got some good sturdy packaging on there. Um, branding's good as ever with Zettel. So basically, we've just got the box here. I'm just going to get this out of the box. Um, got some information here. Uh, we've got a um, sticker, so you can put it on your uh, window at, at your shop if you have one, and show that you take cards. And also the Zettel Terminal Guide is here. Um, quite a nice layout. Uh, Shows you how to set it up very basically, um, just some guarantee and stuff like that. Uh, so there's the terminal, and there's me, you can see in the reflection, amazing, professional. Um, so that's the terminal there. So I've already powered this one up before. Uh, there's your charger cable. Uh, we've just powered it up, and we've just got a get started screen. So I'm just going to click on get started. Uh, it's going to ask for a language. Uh, so we're going to look at English, because that's what, where we are, uh, United Kingdom. Uh, currently looking for Wi-Fi networks. Okay, uh, I'm going to connect to my home office. Uh, I'm just going to pop the password in. So bear with us one second while I do that. Okay. Right. There's a long password. Okay, so I've now connected to Wi-Fi. So I'm just going to use a passcode uh, and I'm going to select just to make it easy i'm just going to stick four zeros in there i know it's not massively secure but at the end of the day i'm just using it for demo purposes now setting up the terminal so i think on the first load up it will probably go to zettel tech and download a latest firmware depending on how long the device has been sat in the warehouse waiting for dispatch this happens quite a lot with um, pay-to-go terminals depending on how long they've been sat doing nothing or not in use so generally what will happen is when you get the terminal out of the box it will look for the latest set of firmware okay we're all set so we want to take a tour around the terminal i think we're going to do that later so um, we'll leave that for the moment and we'll do some more videos at some stage in the future okay so here's the welcome screen so in the top left you've got the time um, also, you've got the icons for uh, the mobile networks and also you've got the uh, icon for the Wi-Fi network as well. So you now can see that the there's reception on the Wi-Fi and reception on the mobile networks. 85% uh, on the battery life and obviously you've got time and date which are already uh, supplied. It's a really nice bright screen. Uh, looking at the sides. Uh, there's the SIM card slot here. So the system comes with a built-in SIM card and data. The great thing is, is that you don't have to subscribe to a mobile uh, data-only SIM card. Um, so it's inclusive uh, and there's no recurring cost. So you're never going to get billed for a monthly data usage and there's no limit on the allowance that you have, which is fantastic. It's a really nice bright screen as well. Um, it's actually quite light, but it's also quite sturdy as well actually made of some really nice plastic um, you've got uh, a small speaker at the top here and you've got the power button and uh, here you've got the uh, where you plug the charge cable in uh, it's USB-C okay so uh, the end looks a little bit like this so it's the latest USB variant which is C and then the other side is uh, USB-C as well and it does come with um, an adapter as well so you plug this straight into the adapter which then plugs into the plug electrical socket on the wall and this goes into the side um, and on the back 
you've got uh, six contact points here, and I'll show you how that works with the printer dock in a second. Um, apart from that, um, you've got the card reader slot at the bottom as well. So well, now we're going to look at the printer and dock. Uh, it is an option. You don't have to have the printer and dock, but if customers want a receipt uh, for the transaction that you've just made uh, and they want a paper receipt, then uh, this is uh, a good way of doing it. So we're just going to open the box. Again, pretty similar to the uh, Zettel device. We've got the paperwork here. Uh, I've got the printer and dock information, which is here, which basically gives you a, again, warranty, etc. Let's move that out of the way. And there's the printer and dock. So we have another charger cable. We also have a tool roll, and we actually have the dock here as well. So dock's quite nice and light. Uh, doesn't really. Um, have much weight on it. Um, there is also a, um, a little mounting device here. So if you are in a retail environment and you want to have this uh, fixed to the desk, you can just use a standard mount, screw it on, so people aren't going to pull it and run away with it. So that will secure it to the desktop. Uh, so we're going to put the till roll in first. So we're just going to uh, open up the um, roll area just gonna make sure that's nice and tight and then we're just gonna roll that in there and then clicks that into place just leaves a little flap out there so they're the six contact points on the terminal uh, sorry on the uh, yeah relate to the terminal and then we're just gonna now the way that these two click together it uses magnets and they're pretty good um, so you can see it's pretty strong and I'm waving it around and that's not going anywhere. Okay, so it's a really good way of doing it. Uh, the previous readers, when they connected into the charger dock, used a small clip here and you had to click it to, un, uh, you had to push it down to unclip it. Uh, this uses strong magnets, which I think is a much better idea. Uh, as I said, that's really not going anywhere. Okay, so that's pretty well tested. Um, and then the charger cable, uh, again, USB-C uh, plugs into here. This will then charge the device uh, from the base station. So in essence, that is how the charger works. That's how it sits in situ. Uh, so just going back to the device, it's now showing that the Zettel POS apps and updates is actually has just installed. So I'm just gonna swipe to go up and put my password in. Okay, um, we don't need to do the tour at the moment. Um, so yeah, so three or four icons at the bottom so we've got our settings uh, which will show uh, the networks that we're connected to um, which will give the mobile networks and uh, the local wi-fi networks um, it'll also default to the best roaming network that's available or the best um, mobile network so you don't have to do anything in regards to the settings it automatically finds it um, display you can change the uh, brightness so you can go super bright on the screen or if you want to, you can take the brightness right down, which it does improve battery life. So if you don't need it full on, then take the brightness down, just like you, you would a smartphone. And you can have to turn display off. So I'm just gonna turn display off after 10 minutes. So I don't wanna have to keep opening it up all the time. Um, uh, so like sound, um, so you've got volume. Uh, I'm not sure all the sounds that it makes. It might just do beeps and acceptance when you take a transaction, but I need to play around with that a little bit more. Uh, accessibility so you can make the font size larger display size larger or magnify the screen so we're just going to keep it in the default setting at the moment um, support as ever um, Zettel offer a nine to five service Monday to Friday without of hours uh, optional uh, as well um, and that link just opens up a, a browser to Zettel.com um, and it will give you all of your support options so if you ever get a struggle in regards to how to make things work and all your questions and there's loads of stuff in the help center on Zettel. It's something that they're very, very good at. Um, and we'll give you a, a real overview of, of uh, you know, if you get stuck. Uh, and your general settings in regards to English language, uh, location information, date and time pulled from uh, Zettel servers. Um, it's offering a daily restart at three in the morning. That's obviously just in case there's any software updates to do. 
uh, about the device. Uh, obviously, it just gives you some information regards the model number, firmware version, all the normal sort of techie stuff that you usually get access to. Um, and privacy policy as well, which you to understand. Um, so there's a tips option here as well. Uh, so you've got a little welcome tour, terminal guide. Um, so again, there's loads of stuff, loads of help that uh, you, you've got access to uh, from Zettle actually on the physical device itself. Uh, updates. Um, so we've only got um, Zettle Pos on here. Uh, it only comes with Zettle Point of Sale or Zettle Go as it's known. Um, it doesn't come with any other types of EPOS app. So at the moment, uh, they're just looking to release it with the Zettle point of sale. In the future, I think there's going to be plans to put more apps on there, but you know, watch this space and see. Once you've got a smart device, there's no real limits as to what you can do on it. Um, and it's a new system, so give them a bit of time and I'm sure there'll be other applications they'll be looking to put on here as well. So we're going to open the point of sale uh, app, uh, which is already on here. So it's probably going to ask me for some login information because I already have an account. Uh, I'm not in the Netherlands, I'm in the UK. So let's stick that onto United Kingdom and then go to login. Uh, I'm just gonna log in with my uh, details. So bear with us one second. Okay, so I've just logged in now. Uh, what's new? Uh, quick switch accounts, print order numbers, partial refunds, etc., etc. Okay, so this is my demo account that I use for customers. Um, so I've now just logged in uh, to the platform and I have three options. I've got search products and amount. So here I've pre-populated some uh, products in regards to um, sort of pre-populated prices, sizes of products, etc. in my EPOS system. I'm not gonna show them all today. This is just an unboxing video. Um, but then to take a payment, I'm gonna do uh, amount and uh, what that will do is it will give me the option to put an amount in regards to taking a payment and go to charge uh, and then do card cash go to card and then uh, uh, it says allow Zettle to use this access location allow while using the app uh, charge five pounds card and then it should come back with a tap insert card I'm not going to do it because I don't want to give myself five quid, but you get the general gist of it. Uh, and to go back to the uh, main home screen, you just s click and swipe up and you're back to the uh, main screen. So that's the unbox video. Um, hope you uh, got some value from that and uh, watch this space. So I'm going to put some more specific uh, things about the uh, Zettle terminal. Uh, some more videos coming soon.